In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this uh, the way they camouflage the true. If you like, if you were too interested to see what country is who from where in Russia, our number of people from individual country, foreign country, non-Russian country that resides in Russia, you are not going to get any kind of figures any, anywhere. Even if you use the foreign demographics for Russia by country, you're not going to get shit. You're going to get demographic of, of Russia, which has nothing to do with reality because it's depicting also, I think, Avars and Chuvash, uh, they're natives to Russia. So you cannot mix this with a foreign immigrants that arrived that arrived to Russia because I want to get official figures of the foreign re immigrants from whatever country that they live in Russia that arrived from abroad. These are the numbers that are of interest to me and you're not going to get any of it. It doesn't matter what you use. We already were here at this uh, Russian Federation International Organization for Immigration, whatever. Total population. Migration and to Russian and so on. You're not going to get any. So you got close to 11 people of Russians who live in other countries. 11 and a half that live inside of the Russian immigration as a foreign born. Uh, trafficking in persons, zero victims. There was no trafficking. There's no such thing as a, as a trafficking in Russia. Well, Russia is one of the most, the highest uh, human trafficking countries in the world. Hijacking uh, people in Russia is a normal thing. It's a... Uh, mm, I go here, human trafficking by the country. We're going to do some of this stuff here. Organized crime index. I would just like to get some kind of uh, something that would be somewhat at least reputable. That I would get. Uh, they don't. Um, Europe, the highest is Belarus, I think, and um, Russia. That's the highest human trafficking. This is obviously within the European Union, but we are looking for the countries, independent countries. And it's not only about the trafficking of persons to Europe for the sake of the sexual exploitation, uh, but it's for the sake of trafficking people out of uh, whatever country because they hijack a Russian woman like crazy, they steal Russian women, children and so on. Uh, when it comes to human trafficking, Russia is epicenter. This is the top of the world. You see, this again statistics are again in hiding the truth about the Russia.
Okay, I did uh, not... Uh, index is a magic, 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 beautiful magic wor word that... Okay, so... <clears throat> Russia is nowhere registered. We gotta move this... Yeah, it's just not nowhere on the map, and, and the way they do it is they don't release the statistics. You can see all that blank stuff. You're not going to get any of that information then. Okay, we got something here that could be interesting. I actually see even uh, Russia on the map. When was this posted? Two years ago? But that's kind of promising. Mm-hmm. A tier number three is that's, uh, re that uh, red thing right there that you see. Uh, and then orange one that includes also Romania. I don't know what Ireland is there for, but I don't know what that means. Tier number three, whatever. And I don't know where they got those figures anyway. That's not presentable anyhow. This is uh, Russia, Belarus. These are the countries that, uh, even as a, if you go as a tourist there, you can so disappear that is unbelievable. I mean, Is this it here? This stuff here? Russians were really excited about the stuff that cannot be seen and insisted on France and Germany and this and that uh, without having actually having the capacity to... It looks very fucking red here and let's see what red is. What is this chart at all? Trafficking in person report, tier placement um, tier whose governments do not fully comply with the minimum standards and are not making significant efforts to do so. So this is the worst when it comes to the human trafficking. You see this? And you won't see that. Again, what you will see is you will, you're going to see Europe, you're going to see France, you're going to see uh, United States, Canada, Sweden, Finland, uh, what's that, Austria, whatever. Uh, I don't know why the hell they're marked in blue. What is this now? Uh, Nivel tier 1. That's tier 1. Whatever. And then that's tier 3. It's that stuff that you see right there. The worst, basically. Um, but that's not a problem because if you look at the map, Russia extends all the way to Asia. And down south, it actually... A red color intersects with the northern Korea and China. So, and Thailand extends, uh, no, that's not Thailand, that's Myanmar. Iran, uh, that's basically what we are talking about. Let's say Afghanistan, um, Russia, the European country, it's a European Asian country with majority of European population in one. Uh, with the Belarus, you see the red dot right there also? is a Belarus between the Poland and Russia. That's a Belarus, that red thing right there. Uh, it's a tier three. Don't even comply with the minimum standards when it comes to hijacking abductions of the people, human trafficking. But if you go and Google that stuff, you're gonna, the same way, just as is for the foreign immigration, you're not going to get any kind of statistics. You're not going to get any kind of statistics. Anything. Anything. It's all lost. You won't see shit. You won't get any kind of information. I don't even understand, look, how the fuck Russia is allowed to participate inside of the United Nations. How come the country like this that is a superpower and uh, developed and this and that, how come that, you know... Not difficult to see, not difficult to understand that they are posing the biggest threat to the world. Because they do have a money. And I'm not going to say they don't know what to do with the money, but they, the way they operate is like, for the humanity common 
it's totally unacceptable in absolutely every way so yes Russia Russia big time Russia here don't even comply with nothing what is this here what did this graph says here here you have per year trafficking per year and Russia seems like it set the world record in absolutely Eritrea that's in Africa in Equatorial Guinea maybe just maybe it's worse Eritrea is worse but is this the way it's supposed to be uh, I mean Russia is a modern country isn't it isn't that like uh, Putin present himself like a modern guy like intellectual next to uh, you know Donald Trump and this and that I don't think that's America that wants to go that way I don't think America wants to find itself in that circle and already did America worsens its status human status enormously once it expanded this relations with the Russia whoever came close to the Russia is like turning to the shit literally so if you like that Russia so much you may want to think over you may want to think over yeah it looks when you look at the map it looks all Germany and France and I don't know what is the worst uh, but due to very very certain reasons I don't know how Google operates I don't know how they do it but this shit is not neutral this shit is not even anywhere near closely edu edu educative educative not doing really well with this crime Russia Russia crime and stuff like this uh, with a Serbia here that you see at the top of the world literally at the top of the world top top right at the top of the world climax when it comes to Europe taking the lead in Europe far ahead of everybody if you want to learn about the crime and stuff you, there is no better teacher than Russia Russia and this is from 2021 not from 2022 when Russia started the war on Ukraine invasion on Ukraine it's too small needs to get bigger So the foreign demographics, when it comes to the foreign demographics, you won't see shit. Anywhere you want to go and touch and they want to twist and uh, embed themselves into something in some kind of figures that are not, it just doesn't work. You see, if you take time and you start to investigate this stuff, the picture is really, really ugly. There's nothing democratic about Russia. There's nothing really developed about Russia. They are demonstrating here like they have some kind of minority and shit. They don't have any fucking minorities in Russia. When Russians arrived to Alaska, the rivers in Alaska turned red. I am not going to even say, but the population disappeared across the night. They went on for a mass slaughter. And so those minorities that are native minorities to Russia, this is a very, very, very sad numbers that exists somewhere they are raping the minorities and converting them into Russian mixed white whatever but basically doing their best to remove the face of the natives so they could not be recognized anymore not be seen and basically bleached out 
of existence within this West Great Russian Federation. He give you a vodka federation. Throw the vodka in your throat and bleach you out, basically. Make you drunk, rape your wife or your whatever, girl from your village, whatever. And you're gone of the picture. Because it's all a Russia. It's all a Russia. We're all a Russians. This picture, sir, this is in fact, this is disgusting. It's super disgusting. Either way you go, whichever way you head, whatever you want to see about the Russia, it does not favor Russia. And the, f the figures, the numbers of foreign born people, immigrants in Russia, they talk about the Russian population is the, on decline and this and that. Come on, give me a break. Russians are giving birth in all over the place, in Argentina, all throughout the world. In Germany, you already have 3 million Russians. The Russians invaded Germany. You already have 3 million Russians in Germany. The United States... Three million. Three million are in Germany alone. No such thing like a native born Russians in Germany. No such a thing like a ethnic minority in, in Germany is what I want to say. There is no such a thing. They all came with the luggages there. Yet there are already three million. Over three million. Again, they don't want to tell how many are there in the United States of America. And if you say something when you're in the United States of America, that you, it's got to do with the Russians, you are paranoid. Because they have Donald Trump to the top. They say here 2.9 million. There are more. There are over three, well over 3 million. Three point one million in Brazil. They say it's one point eight million. <laughs> Germany one point two million. I don't know where they get that number from, but it's not coming. They need to update that stuff. So this Russian immigration, this stuff, this is a monkey business. This is a monkey business, big time, big, big, big monkey businesses, this stuff. Donald Trump started the subject about be, uh, about be being assassinated. That's all, all he dreamed about here in Slovenia, about, about my being possibly assassinated and so on. <laughs> well... Or possibly be assassinated in the U.S. Or possibly in Britain. Or possibly, I don't know where. Wherever you could immigrate. KGB, KGB, KGB. Sure. There are 10 Americans in total in Russia. Two Australians. One German. And why the fuck are there so many Russians in our countries? Why the fuck are they allowed to invade here? Everywhere. And why are we policed in Russia? And why are no international immigrants allowed to Russia? They don't feel the same. Putin doesn't feel any kind of assassination yet in Russia. You get the drill? It's a politic. It's a politic. It's well coordinated. He's sitting safe in Russia. Doesn't have any kind of immigrants in Russia. But we are flooded with the Russians throughout the Europe and the United States. Even if you mention something about the Russians and this, you're going to have a commissars coming from the top and destroy you, 
deprived of the job, soon you're gonna lose wife, home, whatever, parents. Throw you into a psychiatric hospital, get you killed. Just fucking mention it. Yeah, they're dying out. For sure they're dying out. Absolutely. At expense at expense of the countries where they arrive with the luggages and become naturalized. While observing those that welcome them or not, it doesn't really matter, perish literally. And then you have here in this country and in another country and newcomers and new immigrants from Russia your neighbors whoever the fuck they are they soon feel threatened in your country wherever the fuck they come and your country is turned into a new Nazi hub at least through the media while other countries in, is invaded attacked a coups the attack takes place and so on this is the russia everybody talks about america oh we it threatened by america america here america there america everywhere well uh, russia is doing its best to destroy this world to protect the world uh, countries welcome American power on their own they welcome NATO they welcome presence of the NATO they welcome presence of the countries that are literally Nazified whether they are Nazis or not or whatever the fuck they are due to their colonial past or World War II they are simply Nazified and it doesn't matter really even if the immigrants that Russia boasts about these so-called international immigrants escape from Russia in those countries literally because of a real Russian Nazification fascism in Russia fleeing Russia for Europe who doesn't when it comes to foreign immigrants they won't release any kind of demographics uh, I was hoping I could at least get statistics for a foreign uh, for a foreign demographics in Russia you don't get any they are not gonna break down and tell by the country how many are there they always re uh, refuge themselves to um, always go and refuge themselves into how many arrives and how many departs and it's, it's always in Russia is always the same departs and uh, arrives and departs is almost identical picture all the time for the last hundred years basically a lot of a lot of totally useless figures dumped all over the place but they don't want to tell of total how many are there uh, you can see this here this is interesting this stuff here no they're not going to even do this I hope they would say Moscow 13 million people of which so many so many are foreign born or something like this. they don't they don't release any of that they give you a, they give you a shit basically stata 
what kind of statistic is this shit here? You don't get anything. That's all the fuck you get. Unless, I don't know. There you go. 11 million leave to other countries. Just about almost the same. 11.7 from abroad leave inside of the Russian Federation. Of which these guys here uh, mostly they live, you know that, they come and they live. These are the people that they talk about, that the Russians talk about as a foreign immigrants. They're not fucking immigrants. These are the people that almost in identical numbers uh, arrive and they live. Basically, these are the workers that arrive to the Russia and also leave Russia. That's yet again another story that needs to be, I didn't touch when I had opportunity to, to go after that one, but you see this stuff here? Migration flows to Russia increased again with a 5.5 million people arriving in 2011-2020 and uh, 3.1 million leaving. They are workers, they are migrant workers that go to Russia. They come and they live. The workers, migrants. This kind of workers right here, this, this stuff here. Beton, betonage. They cemented people literally inside. They came to work there. And the work was, job was done, was finished. They cement the people. It's not easy to make money in Russia. It's a brutal life actually, quite. Arrive and depart. They are not going to release any information, they are not going to release any data about, but most, mostly the people that arrive to Russia, these are mostly people from neighboring countries, and that's all there is to it. There are no people from abroad, there are people from other countries. They always have somebody from whatever country, for whatever cost, they get them so people like this, so that if somebody visits and say, oh, well, you know, there was a guy I met, 
uh, I don't know, 50 years ago, and uh, he was from some country, whatever country, barely you can find on a map. Uh, and it's going to be immediately, oh yes, I know, I know. We had them here too. Really? This is all concentrated in Moscow, because Moscow is such a political town. That's a political town. Yes, of course. Let's go for a coffee to, McDo to McDonald's. Oh, yes, let's go. Uh, I also want to go. Let's go. And as you're going to walk out on the street, down on the street, there's going to be somebody that's going to bump in you. It's going, hey, hey, uh, watch where you step. Uh, it's going to be, oh, shit, look, where are you from? And he's going to say, oh, I am from that country you were talking about 10 minutes earlier. That's Russia, basically. This is how it operates. That's in Moscow. That's how they operate. I'm just giving you an idea about how they operate. That's a Russia. That's a Russia. That's a real Russia. They're so recognized. They're so international. Look. Um, they're even using a, a chart here. Ukrainian flag right there. So maybe if you're from Ukraine, that you're not going to feel you're watching this, most, most of you from Ukraine. You're going to feel intimidated about it. This one is located in Austria. In Vienna, in Austria, they're located. This was used during MK Ultra. This is not a new stuff or anything like this. Exactly what you see here was presented to me during MK Ultra during the brainwash. Exactly this figures, exactly this kind of stuff. And they suggested we trust this to the foreign source. We trust this to what we as a matter of fact, what we do is we trust this to the foreign so source. And I had the niece and I had the mother. If you will talk against the Russia, they will take away Russia. They will take away Russia. If you will talk about this thing, it will be... It will be immigration from Africa that will take over Russia. If you will talk about the Russia. The only thing you will do is, it will be this, it will be this, it will be this. So this is the official, this is the site with official figures, if you ask me, which based out of you can't fucking see shit. It's a Ukrainian citizen who created this leaflet here from Kiev 11 years ago. And this is what this, I don't even understand what the fuck is this here. This is, this stuff is even. This stuff is even Ukrainian build or something like this. I don't know what a favor this does to anybody uh, from Ukraine, this leaflet here. I don't know how Ukrainians would, uh, would enjoy anything out of this statistics here. But I know that Austria is closely affiliated with the Vladimir Putin and Hungary too. I can see, we can all see what Viktor Orban is doing. And we can see the Austrian politicians, how they attempted 
to favor Vladimir Putin. Time and again, playing down Europe, undermining the common European security, NATO, European Union. For me personally, I am from Slovenia, a neighbor of Austria. I don't consider Austrian institutions anymore as legitimate, regardless. I will tell you honestly, would not allow Austrian politicians to get involved in my case because of their stains on my record, because of the crime performed against me on behalf of Russians. Because of their politicians during these crucial times who abducted me, hijacked me to Russia and participated in torture in Russia. Talking about the Austrian politicians, native Austrians, even posing during these crucial times next to Putin, reminding basically of what went on during the so-called peace. They're stained. And I don't allow countries with a stained record to decide about or even present their bureaus, their uh, whatever organizations as legitimate as worthy, as trusty. Austria did profit enormously from the gas, from the oil trade and stuff. They did business with Russians, but that doesn't mean there won't be repercussions for that. That doesn't mean that they're not going to pay on the other end for that stuff. That doesn't mean that for the crime they committed, they're not going to be held responsible for it. It doesn't work like this. That's a profiteering at expense of somebody else and downplaying and beating down into dust that somebody else. Earning money through using somebody else. Bloody money. You obviously see a helicopter over our house. So these are just arrivals, whatever the fuck it is, but like I say, like I demonstrated in the video, part one, there are no figures about who is from where and this and that. And that's a reality about the Russia. You can do yourself, you can investigate yourself. You can learn about how many are leaving Russia. All the statistics that you want, anything you want, but you're not going to find, you're not going to learn anything about this great international country where the immigrants, the actual, the truth about the foreign immigrants, where are they coming from? Where exactly are they coming from? I was told that once I start this kind of subject, and that's really sad, that's what tells truth about Russia the best, they will unleash the ability for people to immigrate to Russia from also other regions of the world such as Africa and that's kind of a sad isn't it I mean the only time that something happens is when the Russian enemy voices the truth and it doesn't matter if this true went on for 100 years or whatever. Uh, the moment that you voice this, it's the moment they unleash to prove wrong, to prove, to prove, to prove wrong, basically.
30 million Russians live abroad is what Moscow says in 2006 30 million Russians abroad Yeah, I would really like to have this by country, you know, so that we see by what country, but from which country, basically. from Slovenia as I am with uh, 2 million people they literally wanted me to worry about the Russia about the future of the Russia which genocided me since I was a baby and Serbia they demanded so pathetic can you imagine how pathetic these people are how disgusting they started to stress out about that a beautiful, beautiful Russian uh, culture would disappear, Mother Russia. Yeah, they will unleash the immigration from Africa and from Asia. They will come and they will invade Russia and the Russia will be gone. They will, and further, you will talk about this, they will take Russia. They will, they will, they will destroy Russia. They will take Russia, they, no, not destroy, but they will take Russia away. That is pretty fucking disgusting. I don't know how many thousand euros my niece gets paid. For scratching her ass. And how many thousand her husband. For scratching his ass. I'm not envious of these people. Because they do a job. They work for their money. According to a social standards which they became entitled to. But why the fuck would anybody worry? Why the, why the fuck would anybody care about such a beautiful culture? Someone like myself, why the fuck would anybody worry about, about this stuff? That's all you get. There you go.
I find it bizarre for a country that is so open to the world, that is so that has such a magnificent ties, that is so uh, democratic, socialist, even communist, uh, such a great friend of India, such a great friend of China, such a great friend of Brazil, such a great friend of my God in Brazil. Why there are no Brazilian people in Russia? Is it? Oh, yes, I know, because it's too cold, right? Yeah, because it's too cold. You see, it's a climate. Wikipedia is about as close as you get. That's all you get. Ninety-seven from Australia, and hundred and even hundred and thirty-two from Austria, which is kind of a really high number. Yeah. Out of 10 million people, 97 people are from Austria. It's, wow. From India, there are 1,074. Uh, Brazil doesn't exist, really? That I doubt. Brazil is here. 174 from Brazil. Wow. In 2019. And in 2021, there are only 45 left, look like, in Brazil. Or whatever, whichever way the hell this works. With a resident permit. Oh, these numbers are so pathetic that I would not even bother to read here about what they say. Because the, the numbers are so pathetic. I wouldn't even bother to read whether this is the number that is changing, the significant in the number that, that fluctuates, that is changing every year because people arrive, people depart, or is the number of like permanent people, whatever the fuck it is. This is horror. For a country that presents itself like Putin, Putin is stressing out the issue of meeting foreign students, foreign this, foreign Africa, equality, uh, <laughs> make it sound like, and talking about the fascism in Europe. Europe is governed by the by the Satan, by the by the Lucifer, they even have a Satan Lucifer in Europe. So it all started in 2022.
Uh, um, There you go. It's a rules by the Satanism. Is a is a is a war on the Satanism. He declared the war on the Satanism, fascism, Nazism, Satanism. This is this is what this is. And the and the communist uh, actually the Jesus is dressed up in a communist uniform. Eight point three million declare themselves as ethnic Russians in Ukraine. Now you can feel where this what what happens when you have a Russian minority in your country, what exactly one turns into. In a Kazakhstan three point five million, in United States three point one million, in Germany what? One point two million. This needs to be updated big time. Now the numbers are not so uh, modest when it comes to when it comes to uh, Russians abroad. The numbers are not so modest. You got six hundred and twenty something thousand, whatever thousand. Like I said, these numbers are not even real, but. These numbers are not so modest. I mean, if you had 620,000 Canadians in Russia, what would Putin say? Or you would say 3 million Americans in Russia. My God, what the fuck? That would brought Russia to the end. So it's not difficult to govern from a, from a clean environment where you have every, for every foreigner you have, you have 100 KGB agents working on one, watching every move he makes, he does. Completely monitored surveillance, basically, I don't know, thousands of KGB agents per one individual if CIA, FBI would do the same with the Russian citizens in the US. Trump talking about assassinations and so on. Well, what about assassinations? I mean, you yourself created environment such that environment conditions exist for killing people, for asking people out of the job, to, to, to keep them blacklisted, for the lobbyists to pressure on Washington, D.C., U.S. Congress to blacklist people, to kill people, and so on. You yourself created conditions, such conditions in the United States. You're just not taking any responsibility for it. You're not saying, well, we don't have any people in Russia, so we don't need no Russians here. You're not saying any of that stuff. You hand them a luggage and buy them a travel tickets to the U.S. So that you can talk about your your assassinations it's not even funny the subject that Elon Musk opened up about in respect to Kamala Harris with so many Russians inside of the country this is not even funny it's not a funny subject it's actually very very realistic 
fiddling when Rome is burning, basically. There are 30,000 in Austria and there are 150 Austrians in, in entire Russia. That's not very many. Two thousand six hundred something immigrants from Germany. In in Germany you have a three point one million Russians. How the hell these numbers can work for anybody? Where here is the logic? How does this operate? This is a one way ticket, but not the other way. The terrorism is exists. Conditions for the terrorism, for the Russian terrorism are well created throughout entire Europe. They prevail. The Putin politic invasion on Ukraine is prevailing in other forms. Greatly is prevailing over Ukraine, over the European, what should be European politic. But is it really a European politic? And then if not, then who runs this kind of politic? Who is in charge of this European politic, American politic? What's happening? <laughs> 